Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are talking about a classic maths mistake. We're going over how not to foil. Don't be ashamed if you made this mistake. We all make it every now and again. It's one you want to avoid, but uh, we've all made it. I've certainly made it um, more recently than I would like to admit. So. You, you, you can't beat up on yourself, but let's go over it and just point out, don't make this mistake, and I'll, I'll show you why. So if you're not super familiar with it, hopefully this will uh, enlighten you, and you won't ever make this mistake, and you won't upset your teacher by doing it. So, so this is how not to do it, and it's going to hurt me to, to write it out. Let's say we got something like x plus 3 squared. I say, oh, x plus 3 squared, huh? No problem. That's just x squared plus 9. Just distribute that exponent. x squared is x squared. 3 squared is 9. Bada bing, bada boom. That's wrong. Don't do it like that. That's bad. That is not how you foil this expression. Say you had something like 3x squared, then that is sort of how you would do it, right? You distribute your, um, your exponent throughout and you'd get 9x squared. But here, where you've got addition in the parentheses, that's sort of an indication that you've got to use our old friend, the distributive property, which in this case takes the form of what, it, what is often called foiling. So x plus 3 squared, we know what that is. That's just x plus 3 times x plus 3, right? It so happens that that is not equal to that. So let's write it out and go over it a little more carefully. x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3. And now we can see we've got to distribute everything, and we'll see what term we missed. So you've got to multiply. Well, I'll write out the FOIL and uh, spell it out that way. So FOIL tells us that when we've got something like this, we've got to multiply our first terms. That's x times x. Then multiply our outside terms. That's x. That's outside. And 3 is outside. That's x times 3. So that's plus 3x. Then we've got to multiply our inside terms, 3 and x, that's 3x, and then multiply our last terms, 3 and 3, that's 9, so this is equal, adding like terms to x squared plus 6x plus 9. And you can see what we missed, we missed the 6x, which is why this is wrong, this is right, this is how to properly FOIL. You can think of it like this, or just think about it uh, using your distributive property, you know, you've got to distribute the x throughout, and you've got to distribute the 3 throughout. So this is how not to FOIL, don't do it like that, do it like this, this is correct. And now that says FOIL equals this, which is not true. That doesn't mean anything. But I hope this video helped you very much. Let me know if you have any comments or need anything clarified down in the comment section below. Hopefully this is, uh, this is all the, the prep you will need for doing stuff like this and not making this mistake. But when you're working on really long problems, if you get into more advanced math, you'll make all sorts of, of ridiculous, silly mistakes. So this can happen. Be aware of it. Try not to make it. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And be sure to subscribe for the Swankiest Math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You live it up here, dear There's a light where I float That erases all